both did. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makaninisa. And standing with me here today is my brother, who had an opportunity of sitting down with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres one-on-one. -on -one. So, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Um, thank you so much. Um, I am Masete Mchiji from Toyando Manin. So, what are the reasons or challenges that brought you here? Um, the reason that has brought me here to Jarez today is because um, I, had a, I was facing a lot of stagnation and I wanted a job and, and, and a, a lot of things. So I decided to come to this place so that I can, de I can have the mind of God about my life. Yeah. And in which areas were you facing stagnation? Um, I've been searching for a job for the longest time and I had a lot of stagnation in my life in my family, in my siblings, n nothing was happening. So that is why I ended up deciding to come to this place. And how has not having a job and other challenges that you've mentioned been affecting you? It has been affecting me a lot because I've got a family, um, people that are looking up to me, but when you cannot, um, when you're unable to provide for them, it becomes a tough challenge. Yeah, but coming here, I believe that when I come here and meet the man of God, I believe that um, my life will have a turnaround. Yeah. You had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andres one on one. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, um, when I first met with the man of God, um, we sat down and then the first thing that he told me, it was like, um, when did you stop drinking alcohol or smoking? Then I said to him, no, I have never drank or smoked before. He said to me, do you know the reason why I'm asking? I said to him, no, I don't know. He said uh, that um, I am asking you this because I see a lot of um, your family members, um, they are drinking alcohol and they are just living this um, reckless life. Then I confirmed the prophecy to be true because it was something that we were talking about with the person that we came here with um, yesterday. So I just confer confirm it to be true. Um, then he further on to say that he needs to pray for my health um, because I feel like there are some things moving in my stomach and sometimes um, I encounter dreams, but when I wake up in the morning, um, I, I completely forget what I, uh, what I have dreamt, uh, which I confirmed to be true. He also um, prophesied to me that um, I came here because I am stranded and I am believing God for a job, which was my main priority um, of coming here. And he further on to say that um, God is going to give me a job and a car will follow. Uh, which I confirmed um, to be true also. He um, also prophesied about my mom. He, um, he asked where my mom was. Then I told him that he, he said at Venda. Then he, he said to me that um, it's like he, she, she's having a problem um, with her health. At, um, her niece uh, giving her a problem, which I confirmed uh, 
which I, which I confirm to be true because he's been uh, going in and out of the hospital and all those things. So I also confirm that um, to be true. He said that he's, he's seeing a house. So I asked him, he said that no, the house at home, he said that um, we as the siblings, we have got the desire. Um, God must actually bless us so that we can be able to, to extend the house and make it good so that even when um, our mother passes on, she will pass on knowing that um, she was resting well, which I confirm everything to be true. Yeah. Even yesterday, that we said, yes, we are, and just come back to my And so you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what happened when he saw you. Okay, thank you. Um, I met the Apostle today, earlier on today. Um, the moment I sat down, he just greeted me and then he was like, where, where do I come from? Then I, I said that um, I'm coming from Tayando Manin. Then he was like, um, who is Ubom Dao? Who is, who is uh, like um, the Dao son name? Then I was like, um, it is the son name of my pastor. He said, um, which I confirmed to be true because his, uh, his son name is Mudao. So he said to me that, what have we been doing at church? And then I said, I, I was um, singing, preaching, and doing all those things. And then he said, what happens then? Then I told him that um, I was excommunicated. And then after that, um, from 2019 until now, I, they haven't um, said anything to me. And then he said to me that um, this has been a blockage to you because what has happened has really hurt you so much, which I confirm to be 100% true because it has really um, affected me. Mm -hmm. And then he said to me that um, he's seeing that this thing has affected my life and where I am to go and also my prayer life as a Christian, which I confirm to be true, but like the excommunication has really um, affected me a lot. Then he fed that on to say that um, you, you are here because um, you are believing God for a job. And I was like, yes, um, I believe in God for a job. And then he fed down declares that um, I have got the job. Just believe in your heart that you have got a job. Um, and then he said, he mentioned a name. He said, who is Rufuno? Or before that, he said to me, um, I must marry. Because he see me that I, I, I really want to marry, but I don't have enough fun. But God is going to bless me with a job. And the, the very same um, thing that I must do when he has blessed me with a job, I must marry. Because this is something that I have been crying for for the longest time. And I confirm that when, when the prophecy comes to pass, this is the first thing that I am going to do, as the apostle has said. Um, he further on to say that because I am not marrying, there are a lot of people um, that are asking my Christianity and the way of living so God must give me the grace so that I can uh, so that I can be able to marry then if further down on to 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 prophesy a name um, by the name of Rufuno and then I confirmed the name to be the uncle of the person that I am seeing then he said that this person um, they really wish as well so that we can be able to mm. to marry um, and we we'll, we we'll live well. Then I confirm to be true. Yeah, we've got a very good relationship because even at, at, at some time back there was a time that we we, we do a, a, a ceremony um, to to bring us together and these people were supportive. So I confirm everything that the apostle. Um, said it should be 100 percent true, and I believe that I'm just waiting for the manifestation of what he has said. And so, how do you feel after you one-on-one -on -one with both the apostle and Prophet Andres? Um, somehow, I was feeling um, emotional. I was really feeling emotional because it is it is something that I have been praying for for the longest time, and now I can actually see what the Lord has done, and I just believe that God has also remembered me. Yeah. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? Um, I will encourage everyone who's watching this to say that whatever that you feel that you need in your life, um, this is the right place for you to come. 
whatever that you're facing, whatsoever stagnation, whatever uh, problems, this is the right time for this is the right place for you to come because God lives in this place.